So here's some hints about that double bunk bed assignment. Uh, if you kind of picture it like in a room, maybe in a corner, might make more sense as far as where you want to put your, your ladder components, your storage components, and um, the safety mechanisms so you won't fall out of the top bunk. And the, the, the legs, there's a little contraption here. So here's my double bunk bed in the corner of a room. Uh, I may have a ladder built in here, or maybe a ladder built in here. So let's kind of figure that out. So here's my example. Let's go build one. Uh, to put a ladder in this end wall, you got to figure um, how can we um, have a ladder, either an exterior ladder or an interior ladder. I might do an interior ladder. So I might try having, um, can make a little bit of a bigger, heavier looking ladder. Uh, I may have like a, like a six inch wide side of the ladder, a six inch wide side. Um, as far as height goes, this whole length is right now seven feet tall. Just math on this can divide out how many stairs you want by how far apart. And I might just try mine at uh, every foot for now. And we'll see how that looks. So I'm just going to map out 12 inch increments for possible stairs. So here I got maybe a step here, step here, step here, step, step, step. Um, and I might, how does this work best? Um, I might try drawing them as rectangles. I'm going to do a rectangle. I'm just going to lay one in each opening for now. So I draw all these in. And then use an offset tool to kind of give each opening a little bit of thickness. So maybe like um, an inch per opening. So I'm just click, drag, one enter. Do you have to go an inch for an opening? No, just kind of give an example of what you could do. There's one. And if I take off all my guidelines, so erase all these and those, and I'm gonna try to take those out too, just to kind of give the step a little more of a ladder look to it. So I mean, that one goes away, goes away. And I push these in. Um, I have two feet of space to move, but I won't need two feet of room for a step. Maybe I'm going to go in. 12 inches, so push that in, 12 enter. So here we have one way to build like a built-in ladder. Probably not the, the most efficient way to build it, but it could work for one possible idea. So there's a ladder built into it. Um, I could make it look a little bit cleaner by having maybe these gone. Sort of a built-in look to it. It could be storage, it could be shelving for backpacks, lunch pails, shoes, cats, and a ladder for there. Um, I'm gonna build something here too for a ladder system for climbing. Um, storage would work too. But again, make this storage like planned. Let's say I want to have a little bit thinner side, maybe that's probably too much. Um, maybe you only look about maybe two inches down, two inches up, I need to go in the same two inch pattern going here, and then the same thing over here, two, 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 and I'm going to draw in some lines, oops, line tool, let's map these out. I'm going to push these zones inward. Um, maybe push these in not very deep because my above the sleeping quarter. If I push these in, it'd work. My ladder exposed there. So, I mean, this could have a small little indent for storage. 
um, or mail. I could put storage here if I wanted to. I could put storage. Oops, get out of there. Where am I at? Hold on, sorry. Come on this way here. I'll get it. Patience. There it is. Storage here if I want to. Or um, up here too, I have a spot for storage. Okay, so there's some options for storage, options for a ladder. Uh, as far as this safety mechanism, maybe a small little fence could work. Uh, maybe we could have this little zone on top sunken in a little ways could work. Um, we gotta be creative in those solutions. And then the, the, the leg system on this contraption, you have options. I could just, I'll kind of just draw for quick to save some time. Um, I could just throw a chunk on here, push this all the way through, which is 36 inches, to kind of hollow it out, to kind of give a leg to it. That way I can have storage below this, spot for the dog or cat to sleep. Um, but again, it's kind of follow the, the spec sheet as far as what you need, how much room you need, and those options. So let's see if we can get started on some of this uh, bunk bed system. Hey, good luck.